thank you, Dr. Chayun, for introducing me. Respected chairperson, panelists, uh, learning audience, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. Today, I will present a case, a case of auto pulmonary window. It's the eight year old girl presented with uh, exceptional dyspnea, easy fatigability for the last two years, palpitation and chest discomfort. He had history of recurrent RTI since infancy. His heart pulse is 90 beats per minute, pounding, but blood pressure was 100 over 60 millimeter of mercury. She had no cyanosis and clubbing, and saturation was 96%. P2 was palpable, and there is a loud, narrowly, loud, narrowly split second heart sound, and there is an ejection systolic murmur heard at the left third in the crystal space. And also, there is an early diastolic murmur at the pulmonary area. Her ECG has uh, had the features of biaxial hypertrophy and biventricular hypertrophy, and X-ray show, showing the cardiomegaly and prominent main pulmonary artery and proximal branches, and pulmonary vascularity seems to be normal. And we did the echocardiography. This parastandard short axis view, we can uh, see there is a uh, large defect in the autopulmonary septum. It is closer to the semilunar valve, that is the pulmonary valve. And uh, this is the outer, this is the pulmonary artery. And on color flow interrogation, there is a laminar flow between the outer and pulmonary artery. As the uh, defect is large, there is pressure is similar in both outer and pulmonary artery. So there is laminar continuous flow, no significant turbulence is there. And this is the same view. And we can see here the clear bifurcation of the pulmonary and uh, 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 right and uh, left pulmonary artery. Uh, this is apical four chamber view with anterior sweep. We can see uh, this is the outer and pulmonary artery, and this is the gap between uh, and the to pulmonary septum close to the pulmonary valve and uh, this is the color flow interrogation showing the uh, laminar continuous flow through the defect and this is uh, epical four chamber view showing the mildly dilated uh, la and lv with trivial mr uh, but there is significant tricuspid regurgitation we can measure the pa uh, pulmonary uh, systolic pressure um, uh, from this tr jet velocity by using the barnoli equation and uh, this is the upper sternal short axis view showing the significant pulmonary regurgitation. And from the pulmonary regurgitation, we can measure the pulmonary artery diastolic pressure from the in diastolic PR velocity jet. And uh, this is the same view and uh, showing the measurement. And this is the most important view. Uh, this is the suprasternal, sorry, suprasternal uh, uh, long axis view showing uh, the uh, with color flow interrogation showing the uh, uh, rate flow during diastole. This is the diastolic flow reversal. And this is the sub sepoid short axis view showing uh, the color flow uh, interrogation uh, in the abdominal outer behind the heart. And this is the blue flow. Uh, this is the diastolic reversal. So diastolic this, uh, flow reversal in the distal arch and thoracic outer is a, gives an important clue for diagnosis of the outer pulmonary uh, window. And this is the pulse Doppler interrogation of abdominal outer showing the uh, uh, pulsatile systolic attribute flow. And there is low velocity, hollow diastolic flow. And this is the uh, important for diagnosing the outer pulmonary window. And uh, as because the most of the cases of outer pulmonary window have got associated lesion, we got the actual septal defect and we have shown in different view. And so the, my impression is large outer pulmonary window. Uh, this that is type one, large ASD secondar and severe pulmonary arterial hypertension. And we did the cardiac catheterization uh, uh, in um, the uh, ascending uh, autogram. Uh, we can show uh, the ascending outer. The pulmonary artery is feeling feel from the ascending outer through the outer pulmonary septum. So the outer pulmonary window is a rare cardiac malformation. Incidence is very low, 0.2 to 0.6% of all congenital heart disease. First reported case in 1830 by Eliasson and Ross. Uh, um, 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 successfully ligated in 1952, and 50% have associated lesion. These are outic origin of the right pulmonary artery, type A interrupted outic arch, tetralogy of velos, right outic arch, L kappa and um, AR kappa, and BSD, ASD, and D transposition. Embryologically, out of pulmonary septum is formed by two opposite truncal fusion, which enlarges and fuse, fuses and dividing the truncus arteriosus into separate outer and pulmonary artery. Male development of this septum leads to development of out of pulmonary. Time is 
short. Please do it. Uh, make it quick. The most important classification is Mori et al. This type one, type two, and type three, proximal, distal, and total. And there is another classification uh, who et al. added the intermediate defect. So management is completely can be done almost by the echocardiography, and additionally we can do the catheterization MRI. Surgical uh, closure is the main um, treatment. A device closure can be done in patients with small cases. And prognosis is excellent if you will perform surgery early without surgical correction. Irreversible obstructive changes may develop in the vascular uh, vein in the second decade, and surviving up to four decades may also be reported. So it's a rare case. Early detection, early treatment is very much important before development of a pulmonary vascular obstructive disease. Arch reversal flow is a clue, and restrictive small AP window can be closed by device closure. Thank you. Thank you for patience here.